These big screen scenes will make you want to duck and cover. Today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 nuclear bomb scenes in movies. For this list we're taking a look at the most memorable big screen scenes that feature nuclear bombs. And just so you know there may be some spoilers ahead. So don't say we didn't warn you. Number 10. The Wolverine. Being nearly indestructible Wolverine tends to pop up in the most unlikely historical places. <laughs> In this scene for instance he is present during the atomic attack on Nagasaki in Japan. As the blast takes out most of the area, Wolverine saves a Japanese soldier by sheltering him under a big piece of metal. And surprise both survived the complete destruction in a scene that isn't even the unlikeliest nuclear near miss on this list. It's not safe. Wait, oh my God. Number 9. Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Sadly this entire movie could have been avoided if it wasn't for that meddling refrigerator. When Dr. Jones stumbles upon the model town at the Nebraska test site, moments before a nuclear detonation, he must find some means of protection from the blast. Luckily there's a lead-lined fridge. The explosion is as much as you'd expect in terms of a nuclear blast, but unfortunately it's not powerful enough to eradicate the plot of this movie that was disliked by many in defense. Number 8. The Dark Knight Rises. Some days you just can't rid of a bomb. In what he meant to be a selfless act and the ultimate sacrifice, Bruce Wayne himself flies a nuclear bomb far away enough from civilization to save everyone, and seemingly dies in the ensuing blast in the final installment of Christopher Nolan's Batman trilogy. The scene would have been even more poignant if Batman had actually sacrificed himself. But it doesn't matter the view was impressive, and Batman saved the day on his own terms. <laughs> Number 7. Independence Day. Do you think in the day the Earth stood still Clotto and his robot Gort come down to warn us about the impending nuclear war? Now, we do not pretend to have achieved perfection. But we do have a system. It's a good thing we didn't listen to those tree-hugging hipsters from space, because years later we needed all of our atomic power to deal with more alien invaders that come to steal our resources. Luckily, Will Smith and his computer-hacking buddy Jeff Goldblum were on the case, because we got to see some really great fireworks. Number 6. Armageddon. Years after the Cold War mankind is still left with useless atomic devices, what better way to get rid of them than to strap them to a giant earth-shattering asteroid? After all, it's time we used our most dangerous weapons against something other than ourselves. We're going back and do it ourselves. Armageddon gives us a lot of great Michael Bay action sequences, but we get a little something extra when he sets off a nuclear explosion in space. Number 5. The Sum of All Fears. Ah, but Ben Affleck's flirtations with the threat of nuclear explosions worked over after Armageddon. Unfortunately, however, Affleck as Jack Ryan wasn't quite as successful when it comes to the whole life-saving thing as the bomb Ryan's looking for it goes off and kills a whole bunch of people in this political thriller. Luckily, Morgan Freeman lives long enough to give him a few words of advice. Number 4. Threads. The 80s were a time of doomsaying and fear of looming atomic war. So, what better time to flood the media with movies about horrible nuclear destruction? Threads tells this charming story from a European perspective with England as the victim of nuclear fallout. Attack war is for bloody real, is it? I get your stations. The result isn't as pretty as you might have guessed, but we're still treated to some really rad explosion scenes. <laughs> Number 5. 
Number 3. The Day After While most nuclear destruction scenes tend to conclude the movie after this one happens, we get to see a little of the aftermath as well. After NATO and the Warsaw Pact come to blows a nuclear war ensues, and nukes are sent flying everywhere. In this disaster flick which also happens to be the highest rated TV film in history, a new glance in Lawrence, Kansas, and the survivors must deal with the fallout and try to put the pieces back together. Number 2. Terminator 2 Judgment Day Think smarter machines are the way of the future. Well, if Skynet had its safe the entire race would be eradicated from the face of the planet, and everyone would live happily ever after. In this dream sequence Sarah Connor witnesses mind-numbing destruction as a nuclear bomb takes out everything she knows and loves. Luckily when he's not having a complete breakdown on set her son John Connor returns to save our future. Number 1. DR. Strange lover how I learned to stop worrying and love the bomb. Major Kong can't wait to nuke those damn commies. So much so in fact that when the bomb doesn't drop, he helps it along manually. In a scene that is both hilarious and kind of poignant, Stanley Kubrick warns us about the dangers of warmongering and the arms race, as the Major goes down smiling. Ironically if the bomb hadn't launched the entire world would have avoided incineration. Do you agree with our list? What's your favorite nuclear bomb scene for movies? For more videos subscribe the channel, and don't forget to like this video.